Hey guys, this is Lala Legacy and welcome back to another episode of X Note. So we are on the final route and which is Anon's route. And if you haven't already, subscribe because that would mean the whole world to me. And um yeah. I guess let's get into this. But uh if you wanna see the very like beginning, like the opening, you'll have to go back and watch my Yuan route because that is the route that I did where I played from the very beginning to the very end of his route. So, let's get in. Hey! I don't really want to go for this guy, but I don't know who else to ask. You said you know a lot of things, huh? You got that right. I can prove it to you if you don't believe me. I did research on you yesterday. Oh, really? Let's see. Your name is Essie. I was the one who told you that. Then, how about this? You're 14, year, or you're 14 this year. Your birthday is on the 21st of November, and your favorite color is black. Right? Wait, I've got more. You're an orphan, and you're currently under the care of a guardian. Th th that's correct. And your bust size is... W wait a second! Where did that come from? I didn't come here to listen to this. I'm going to ask someone else. Oh, I forgot to mention one more thing. You're a psychic. Did I hit the bullseye? How did you find out? You see, I ain't just good at gathering information. I'm also an excellent hacker. I hacked Yuan's computer yesterday. He has extensive data on every student stored in there. Yours is a little special, though. Your information is a lot more detailed than that of, an, of the average student. Oh my goodness. Bucky is playing with the string on my, uh, on my clothes. <laughs> is you on your stalker or something? Tell me what else was written there. To be frank, I didn't read all the details. I just browsed through it. I'm going to go ask you on. And don't you dare look up more things about me. Huh? Gotcha. I won't do it again. How cute. Oh my god. Yuan! What is wrong? Finally, he's here. Did you accidentally eat some bad food? You look like you are about to chew someone's head off. Where have you been all day? I had many things I need to take care of. Here we go again. He always manages to avoid answering my questions. I demand an explanation for this. I heard that you have incredibly detailed data about me stored in your computer. Isn't that obvious? I would not have hired you if I had not researched you in the first place. That's true, but where did you get my information from? I got it from a very reliable source, but I cannot tell you who because that person asked me not to tell anyone. You promised to tell me everything, didn't you? That is true. But I promised that person first. At the very least, you should let me see all the data you have. Very well. Oh, or it's getting a little late. Come back here tomorrow after your class ends. I will let you review it as much as you want. Good. So there are people who know about my secret, or three people who know about my secret. To think that I spent my entire childhood trying to hide it from everyone, it just seems so pointless now. And who was the one who told Yuan about me? It must be someone I know since that person asked Yuan to keep it a secret, but is there anyone who knows me that well? <sighs> it seems that I get more questions than answers every day. There's no use worrying about them. I should concentrate on today's training. Alright, where are we at? I need telepathy. Boom. That's all for today and it's time to head back home. Day four. Class begins as usual. I have so many things going on in my mind that I can barely concentrate. After class. I've been waiting. I'm surprised you kept your seat or your promise. I always keep my promises. I can't tell whether he's being truthful or I just haven't caught him red-handed. Come. Yuan shows me uh, my data. 
To my surprise, I don't find anything offensive in them. At least it doesn't mention anything stupid like my bus size. Anon must have made that up yesterday, that 100% pervert! Is that all? Yeah, oh, wait, is that all? Yes. Were you expecting more? I was just hoping that this data contained something I didn't know. To be honest, I don't remember much before my mother's accident. My memory of that time is blurred. I'm able to remember a little thing, or er, a little here and there, but nothing is clear. Childhood amnesia. In general, people are unable to retrieve memory from birth until around the age of four. It's only natural for you not to remember much. That's true. So, even your most rel- er, so even your most reliable source doesn't know much about me before that time, huh? Still, the details of these ESP articles are quite amazing. Can I have a copy? It might help my training. Sure. Articles have been added to note. Thanks. I vaguely remember these from my mother, but I've forgotten most of them. Did your mother know any or know about your psychic abilities? Yes, she was the one who told me not to use them unless it was necessary. I see. Speaking of which, how is your training going? I still need some more time. How long do you think it will take before your abilities uh, can be used for the investigation? It will probably take another week or two. Forget about the investigation and concentrate on your training from now on. Understood. By the way, you seem distressed lately. Huh? I know a lot of things are going through your mind right now, but... I did not invite you here with the intention to burden you. There is no time limit. There is no need to rush. You can enjoy school life as much as you like. Is something wrong? Maybe you aren't such a bad guy after all. Do I look like one? Normally I would think so. I'm just kidding. Thanks anyway. Yuan is right. There are way too many things going on uh, lately, and I can't focus properly. Psychic abilities rely heavily on a clear mind, so I shouldn't think too much for right now. Alright, psychokinesis, here we go. Haha! That's all for today. Thanks to all the training I did, I can feel my senses are getting sharper. This isn't just my imagination. Someone is watching me, and it's the same person who was watching me a few days ago. I can't let another person learn about my psychic abilities. I have to catch this person. Who's there? If you don't come out, I'll... I'll call the police! What was I thinking? That was such an unconvincing threat. Whoa, I didn't expect him to actually come out. And he's huge. Who are you? You're the same person who was watching me before, aren't you? I'm sorry. Huh? He apologized. I was expecting a completely different reaction. Did you see anything? Or did you see everything? R Rexus. Huh? Is my name. I didn't ask for your name. I want to know if you saw everything. I'm sorry. Is that a yes or a no? What's with this guy? For someone with this, or with this kind of build, he is incredibly mild-mannered. Explain to me why you're here. I wanted to see Pegasus. Pegasus? You mean he came all the way here just to see that carousel's white horse? What a poor lie. Even I could tell he's a terrible liar. I don't mean any harm, so please don't call the police. Did he really think I was going to call the police? How dense can one be? I won't call them, but you have to promise that you aren't going to tell it or anyone about me and what you saw. Understood. All right, you can go now. It's pretty late. I need to go home too. I'll leave then. Please be careful. What a weird guy. At least he doesn't look like a bad person. Oh well, it's time to head back home. Day five. Class begins as usual. I feel slightly more relaxed today. After class. Maybe I should go find someone to talk to. Where should I go? Computer lab, of course. Oh gosh, this music. I know I should be relaxing now, but I won't feel good until I, or until I teach a certain guy a lesson. What's up? 
I've talked to you on end. And? There isn't anything about my bus size. Really? That's too bad. That's the information I looked forward to the most. I guess I gotta figure it out just by looking, eh? It should be about... Don't you dare! You 100% pervert! Whew, I feel better now! <laughs> I feel much better today after smacking a pervert in the face! Here goes nothing! Clairvoyance! Circle wave plus! Circle wave plus! Boop! That's all for today. Time to head home. Day six. Class begins as usual. To my surprise, I enjoy or I quite enjoyed today's lecture. After class, Essie, Miss Akia, is something wrong? Are you free tomorrow? I can or I need help organizing the students' folders. Sure, I can help. Thank you. See you tomorrow. All right now. Where should I go? Computer lab. I've officially dubbed the computer lab as a dangerous area due to the presence of this guy. Are you still mad at me? Are you bored or something? Why do I always see you here? Isn't that common sense? Technology is extremely important when it comes to information gathering. That's not what I meant. I'm asking, why do you have to gather information in the first place? Oh, good question. Information is power. It's a great advantage if you held more information than your opponents in wars. Are you having a- or are you having wars with anyone now? No, I may look like this, but I'm an advocate of peace and love. Your point is? I just happen to enjoy digging information that no one knows. I can only see someone who enjoy or I can only see someone who enjoys digging in digging others privacy without permission. I don't deny that. It's part of the fun. Whoa, <laughs> take it easy. Just like any kind of powers in this world, I can put my abilities to good use. For example, let's say a beautiful black-haired girl in a black dress is looking for information, but she doesn't know where to start. She can always find me. I can help you with anything you want to know. I'm not sure if I could trust you. Don't worry, take your time. I'm sure one day you'll notice that I'm actually a good guy, a really good guy. You mean only 70%. Ouch! I wouldn't even give him that much credit, Essie. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Telepathy. It's all for today, and it's time to head home. Day 7. There's no school on Saturdays, but I promised to help Miss Akia today. Thank you for coming. No problem. I help Miss Akia as much as I can. Several hours later. Here. Have a cup of le uh, honey lemon. It tastes really good when it's warm. Thank you. No, I should be thanking you instead. Today is the day when you should be resting, but I ended up asking you to help me. Miss Akia. Yes? Why did you ask for my help? I'm new here. You could have just asked other students. It's strange for you to ask me in the first place. You have something to tell me, am I right? A few days ago, when you told me that you knew my mother, I noticed this, uh, the sadness in your eyes whenever you mentioned her name. At first, I thought it was because you were sad about her sudden death. But when I think about it now, it, or it wasn't just sadness. There was a trace of guilt in them. You are right. You do resemble her in almost every way. Emma was known as a talented psychologist, and it was not just because of her research. She had the uncanny ability to see through people's hearts. Nothing could escape her eyes. Essie, there is something I have not told you. Your mother and I were the ones who founded the Gen Institute. I've, er, I've heard that from Yuan. 
I see. So, it wasn't a coincidence that you came here. Yuan must have been desperate if he went or if he went so far as to request for your help. It cannot be helped, since it was his father who was murdered. Huh? Didn't he tell you that Skid is his father? No, this is the first time I've heard about it. That child has always been like that. He probably didn't want to acknowledge that he is connected to Skid by blood. Why is that? It must be because of our sins. We did something unforgivable. I still remember it clearly to this day. I cannot believe I let it happen. What happened? What did you guys do? Was my mother involved? Essie, please don't investigate any further. Perhaps this is something you should not know. No, I have to know. I'm sure mother wished for that too. She wouldn't have left this necklace otherwise. Necklace? This is actually a USB flash drive. There's a folder called Xnote stored inside it. X... You know something about it, don't you? Please don't ask me any further. Why? Why won't you tell me? I was planning to tell you. I asked you to come here today for that very reason. I thought I could finally muster the courage to tell you everything. But Essie, I'm a coward. I'm not strong enough to admit my sins. Ever since your mother's death, I can only live in fear that someone might find out. That fear is so strong that it crushes my conscience or any conscience I have left. Are you going to keep running away? Miss Akia, this or the first time I met you, I was intimidated by your presence. But the more I talk to you, the more I see your gentle side. I like to believe in that side of you. It's closer than you think. That was Emma's favorite phrase. If she really wanted you to know the truth, then the key to the answer must be closer than you think. Miss Akia, that is all I could tell you. I'm sorry. I didn't expect Miss Akia telling me to stop investigating. Above all, I'm afraid to know Mother's involvement in all of this. What should I do? You are... Did something happen? Well, I'm quite stupid, but if you don't mind, I can lend you my ears. Pandora's box. Why do humans desire to open it? Even if everything could change for the worse, in the end, humans can't fight against their curiosity. Let's say, if a Pandora's box is in front of you, would you open it? Yes. Why? How can you answer it without any hesitation? I believe we are born with the ability to decide what is right and wrong. I won't know if it's good or bad until I open it. You're right. I guess I'm just like Miss Akia. I'm a coward. I'm oops, I'm afraid of or I'm afraid that knowing the truth would change everything. Which would make you regret it more. Knowing the truth or knowing or or not knowing the truth. I don't know. As of now, I think I'll regret it if I don't know the truth. But I'm not certain if I would feel the same once I learn the answer. Some people have to protect lies, while others live to uncover the truth. Essie, promise me that regardless which path you choose, you won't regret it. You're right. Thank you. I'm sorry for starting a strange conversation like this. It's no problem. But... Have I- or have I actually told you my name before? Goodbye! <laughs> he runs away before I can ask him any further. Rexus, another one to add to my growing list of mysterious, uh, boxes. Will I ever- or will I be able to gain the courage to open every single one of them? Since I'm here, I might as well do some training. Alright, where am I at? Oh, Psychokinesis. Let's go! That's all for today. It's time to head back home. Day 8. Today is Sunday. I was planning to uh, rest for the entire day, but... Hello? This is Yuan speaking. Oh, it's you. What's wrong? It has been a week since you started your training. Did you make any progress? I think... or I guess so. 
Would you like to go check the crime scene today? Today? Yes, I thought it would be a good time to show you more details regarding the, uh, regarding the case. What do you think? All right. Come to the school at 8 p.m. I will be waiting at the entrance. Understood. See you then. I knew I would have to face this no matter, or I knew I would have to face this sooner or later. Oh, sorry guys, I was yawning. I'm not sure if I'm ready. Maybe training will help me feel more prepared. Alright, clairvoyance, let's go. Plus wave circle again. Plus wave circle, boop. Whew, that's all for today. I should get ready to and meet uh, you on. The Gen Institute, 8 p.m. Is something wrong? Is the school already closed? The school closed early on Sunday. I chose this time precisely because I wanted to wait until the school is closed. That way we could investigate without anyone's interference. I see. Follow me. The school looks really creepy at night, but Yuan is completely unfazed. First, I will show you the science lab, the place where Mr. Skid was found dead. It's also the location where Dr. Loyal was last seen. Dr. Loyal was missing on the same day as Mr. Skid's murder. Normally, people would suspect Dr. Loyal, wouldn't they? That is true. But Dr. Loyal is not a psychic. Is that so? For one, there is no such record. I also believe that he is not. Why are you so certain? He is 35 this year. Most psychics lose their abilities once they reach adulthood. There are some rare exceptions. Even so, they should not be capable of displaying such powers. That's true. Mother told me that I was a rare case. There is no one who's uh, capable of using psychokinesis, clairvoyance, and telepathy, all three completely dis uh, different abilities at once. Even so, my power is quite limited. The best I could do is bend a spoon or break a glass. The psychic who murdered Dr. Skid must be really powerful if they could actually kill people with their mind. Such a case is not completely unheard of. In the past, powerful psychics are dubbed as witches. There were a few witches who could display the ability to kill without the use of any man-made weapons. The fear of such powers became widespread, and many witches were hunted and killed. Some uh, parapsychologists uh, contribute the lack of power or powerful psychics due to the prominent a uh, witch or a witch hunt during the 17th century. But in the end, psychics still exist to this day. Exactly. I just can't imagine what kind of person would use psychic abilities to kill your father. Oh. So you knew. Miss Akia told me yesterday. I didn't know that your father was the victim. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't believe- or I didn't think it was necessary. But... It's true that we are related by blood, but that is as far as it goes. Our bond does not have any difference from those of strangers. Why? I'm sorry, I won't ask any further. The science lab is right around the corner. I feel he or I feel a heavy aura enveloping the entire room as soon as I step in. Y you won? What's wrong? I sense death! The entire room smells of death! Are you referring to Skid's death? No, this is recent! I will turn on the light. This can't be! Misakia! The smell of blood. The aura of death. It burns deeply into my mind. I thought I was prepared. I thought I knew I, or what I was getting into. But at that moment, I realized that I didn't. For this is merely the beginning of everything. Whew! Here we go! It's chapter 3 of the investigation. Essie. Yes, I'm Essie! You finally remember! Who's Essie? Who am I? What am I doing? Mommy, he's still a bit strange. He doesn't even recognize me. What should I do? 
I can't allow this to continue. We're leaving here. Let's go as far away as we can. Mommy! Miss Akia! What was that? Mother! Miss Akia! I should have known that Miss Akia was in danger. I neglected the fact that she was also one of the founders. If I had found the culprit, this wouldn't have happened. This is my fault. Hello? It's me, Yuan. Oh. Are you alright? You sound terrible. Yes, I'm fine. I guess I'm still a little shocked. I would actually prefer it if you take uh, a rest for the day, but the police want you to come in for questioning. I understand. I'll go. Day 9 The police asked me some questions before letting me go. How was it? I didn't like the way they questioned me. It's as if they were suspicious of me. I guess it's only natural since I was the first person who found her, and she died not long after I entered the Gen Institute. You have nothing to worry about. Their prime suspect is me. Are you serious? This is not the first time. I was also the first person who discovered Skid's body. That day, there was a phone call telling me to come to the school. I could not trace the source of the phone call, and no one could prove my alibi. It doesn't help that my relationship with Skid has never been good. Is that why you're so desperate to find the murderer? Yes. Is that all? What do you mean? He's your father, after all. In any case, take a look here. Those are... Yes, these are Miss Akia's glasses. I took them yesterday before calling the police. Why? If they find out, you'll be in deep trouble. You can use them to trace her memories. You mean psychometry? Yes, it's the ability to obtain information through objects, a type of clairvoyance. I'm not sure if I could do it with my current level. That is fine. You could train as much as you like. I will hold the glasses until then. Alright, I'll do my best. The police still have questions for me, so I might not be available for the next couple of days. You probably want to know more in regards of Miss Akia's murder, but you will have to wait until I get a hold er, until I get a hold of all the available information. I understand. I have to go now. Later. No one's here. That's to be expected, huh? I didn't think the questioning would take such a long time. Just a few days ago, I would probably have found Miss Akia here after class. It's closer than you think. If she really wanted you to know the truth, then the key to the answer must be closer than you think. There must be hints for unlocking X-Note. Oh, those must be the hints for unlocking X-Note. Miss Akia risked risked herself to tell me. If I unlock it, I might be able to catch the murderer. That's right. This isn't the time to be sad or, or confused. I can't let the culprit get away. But, I don't know where to, or where to start, uh, even with those hints. Perhaps I should go discuss it with someone. Yuan would have been the best choice, but he said he might not be available for the next couple of days. I think I'd better go ask someone else. Ore? I'm sure he'll help me, but he doesn't seem to know anything. Anon is good with computers, but his personality... Uh, this is uh, this is tough. Who should I ask? We're gonna ask Anon, of course. I don't really want to ask Anon, but his computer skills might come in handy. Alright, I'll go ask him. Hey! You must have heard about what happened yesterday, haven't you? Of course. Misakia was murdered. Everyone knows that, it ain't just me. Thanks to that, the entire school is in chaos. There are many students who have transferred out of school. I can't, or it can't be helped. This is the second murder after all. Many believe that a serial killer lurks around here somewhere. How about you? Are you going to transfer too? Maybe I will, or maybe I won't. <laughs> or what kind of answer is that? Right now, the only thing that keeps me here are the mountains of information I could po or possibly dig up. But, in or, but information is a weapon. It's a double-edged sword. I'm endangering myself if I stick my nose in too deeply. 
I'm not sure if it's worth risking my life for. I see. Anon is right. I shouldn't get him involved, but his information gathering skill is something else. What should I do? Should I ask for his help? Yeah, of course we should. If I ask, will you help me? What's with that awfully suspicious grin? Are you sure you're fine with that? I don't get what you meant. I might accidentally stumble upon things you don't want me to know. You're or you're trusting me with that or with the information by asking for my help. Are you really sure you're fine with this? At the very least, I believe you aren't going to tell anyone about this. What is it now? I'm surprised. I thought you had a terrible impression of me. I still do. But you didn't tell anyone about my secret. I believe you'll keep your promise. So, will you help me? I said from or I said it from day 1. If you need to know anything, you can always ask me. So, what do you need from me? Or what do you need me for? My mother left a necklace, which is actually a USB flash drive. There's a folder called Xnote stored inside it. I want to know if you know any ways to unlock it. Let me see it. This is a protected folder. You need the password to get this open. Is there any way to open it without the password? I tried it just now, but the protection set uh, for this data is exceptional. Your mom isn't just an ordinary person, huh? Did she leave any hints behind? No. At least I have no idea if there's, if there's any. I see. I guess I'm still stuck after all. Don't get so depressed. It'll, or I'll always be here to help you. Thanks. <sighs> I'm not getting anywhere with this. I need to better my or I need to get better with my ESP abilities or I won't make any progress. All right, where am I at? Clairvoyance. Right. Let's go. Circle square wave plus. Circle square wave plus. Circle square wave plus. Go. That's all for today. Is that you, Rexus? It's no use hiding from me. My senses are getting sharper every day. I... I see. What are you doing here? I won't accept stupid reasons like coming to see Pegasus. No, I... I was worried. Huh? I heard the news. Misakia was murdered. So you knew. Are you okay? Don't worry, I'm fine. I'm glad. Did he come all the, all the way here just to make sure that I'm fine? Speaking of which, are you good with computers? I guess... Do you know of any methods to open a locked folder? Is it password protect or is it a password protected folder? Yes. I could create programs that could identify the correct combination for the passwords. Is that possible? Yes. However, whether it works would have to depend on the security of the folder. If I were the one who created it, I would put security measures to prevent password hacking. For example, the moment it detects password hacking, it would immediately erase the entire content. That's not good. Yes, that's why it's best if you er, could obtain the password instead of forcing your way in. You're right. Thanks anyway. If you need any help, don't hesitate to ask. Are you sure? Yes. How about telling me who you really are? I'm... the upholder of love and peace. Goodbye! He comes and goes like the wind. I don't think I'll ever hear the true answer from him, but I'm glad he came to see me. Day 10 A new teacher comes and replaces Miss Akia. The class proceeds normally as if nothing ever happened. Yet the atmosphere is clearly different. It's not the same without her presence. After class. Alright now, where should I go? To the computer lab? How did I end up here again? Because I told you to. Hey, did you miss me? Calm down, Essie. You came here to investigate. Yes, that's right. You need my help, don't you? 
It can't be helped since I don't know who else to, or who else to ask. Why can't you just admit that you missed me? I'm leaving. I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, I told you I'd or that or I told you that I'd help you if you ask. So, what do you want me to investigate? The Gen Institute. Can you help me investigate the Gen Institute? I want to know when it was created and for what purpose. Why the sudden interest in the school? I suppose I still have many things I don't know about that really bothers me. Can you do it? Gotcha. Come back tomorrow and I'll tell you what I or what I can find. Thanks. Oh, as a special service, I'll also gather information regarding your three sizes. I don't need unnecessary service. It might or it might have been a huge mistake asking for his help. No, I'm sure he he enjoys being slapped around. <laughs> he sure acts like it. I should probably go see uh, Yuan before I head home. But he said that he might not be available for the next few days. What should I do? Uh, maybe next time. Here goes nothing. Okay, I think I'm on telepathy. Yes. Okay. Good. Whew, that's all for today. Time to head back home. Day 11. It's another school day. I'm still not used to being without Misakia. After class. I wonder if Anon has finished investigating. How, or how is it? You came at the right time. I just finished investigating. And he, or here's what I found. The Gen Institute was founded approximately 11 years ago. It's still relatively new for a school. It was founded by four people. Skid, Emma, Akia, and Loyal. Uh... Three, oh sorry, three of whom died in questionable deaths, the er, and one is suspiciously missing. What else did you find? Skid, Emma, and Akia graduated from the same school, and all of them were in the same major, psychology. I didn't know that Yuan's father was also Mother's ex-classmate. What about Dr. Loyal? He was the, or er, he's the current chairman of Orr's Corporate. Or's corporate? And one of the richest uh, corporations in the country. Or it's one of the richest corporations in the country. And it seems that it has some ties with the government. I bet they were the ones who funded the construction of our school. It makes sense considering it took several billion to put up the building. S several billion? Why did they spend so much money for a mere school? I couldn't find much beyond that, unfortunately. It must have been some huge secret because most or most information about it was erased. But I did find some interesting rumors floating or floating online. It seems that our school used to be a lot different in the past, and the current building is just a cover-up for what it used to be. But those are rumors. Can we trust them? I don't know about you, but this building is a little too grand for a school. And yet, nothing is or nothing about it is special. The school standards is about the same as the national. It's kind of like someone is trying to make the Gen Institute look ordinary. And on is right. That must be the reason why I always felt something wasn't right from the very beginning. I see. Thanks. It's my pleasure to help you. Your information gathering skills are really something. I tried searching online on my own and I found nothing. Are you impressed now? I shouldn't have praised him. Can I ask you to investigate some other stuff? Sure thing. Investigate Yuan. Can you investigate Yuan? Yuan? You mean the previous principal's son? Yes. That's a surprise. Can I ask the reason? He was the one who invited me here. He promised that he would tell me everything, but he never did. Oh, is this revenge? He did investigate you after all. I I guess. I just don't like how he uh, hides things from me. Hmm. 
I thought girls liked mysterious boys. That's, or that only works in fiction. That's too bad. I think I'm quite mysterious too. You have very poor judgment when it comes to your own character. Besides, no mystery man out there would call himself mysterious. Ouch! Anyway, I'm coming back here tomorrow. Is that alright with you? Sure thing. I should probably go see Yuan before I go home, but he said that he might not be available for the next few days. What should I do? Maybe next time. Here goes nothing. All right, let's see. I need telepathy now. Shoot. Wait, how do I... Oh, okay, I still have more days. Wait, I must have skipped psychokinesis before then. Let's do psychokinesis. <gasps> Shoot! There we go. Oh, I clicked it a little early. Ooh, that's all for today. It's time to head back home. Thursday, day 12. It's another school day. After class. I wonder if Anon is finished investigating. How is it? You came at the right time. I just or I just finished investigating. And here's what I found. Yuan, 15 years old. He's a genius. He has outstanding academic achievements. On top of that, he won many awards at a very young age. He's also very good at chess. I guess that's obvious since he is reigning champion in the country. Currently, he inherited the, uh, the Zhen Institute from Skid, so he's pretty busy despite being a student. I see, that's why he always seems so busy. He's incredible, that's for sure. I can't imagine a 15-year-old in charge of a large school like this one. What else did you find? Despite being a genius, his social skills are n notably awkward. He's pretty aloof and his relationship with his father is pretty bad as far as I could tell. Do you know the reason? I heard that the death of Yuan's elder brother was the cause of their, of their rift. I didn't know he had an elder brother. I heard he died at the age of eight. Like, around ten years ago. That's around the time Mother died. Is there some kind of connection between the two? Did you know the cause of his death? Nope, unfortunately I couldn't find anything beyond that. I believe we reached yet another forbidden territory. Thanks for the help, I really appreciate it. Wait, are you leaving already? Huh? I've been working hard to help you. I deserve some kind of reward, don't I? But... Come on, you can't possibly ask for help without giving anything in return. That's true, but... What do you want? It's not difficult. Let's have a date tomorrow. What? Tomorrow is a public holiday, so you're very free, am I right? I, I have my own plans. No, no, no. You need to come up with a better excuse than that. Let's meet up in front of the school at noon. Wait, I haven't agreed. See you tomorrow. Did I just fall into his trap? He must have uh, aimed for this since day one. What now? I can't possibly ignore him. Well, you gotta go. <laughs> I haven't seen you on lately. I should go talk, or I should go see him today. Yuan! You look tired. They finally let me go. Did they believe you? I doubt they would give in so easily. It must be because of the lack of evidence. I see. You came at the right time. I want to show you some things. What's this? This is Miss Akia's autopsy report. Her death was caused by a bullet that went through her lower abdomen. Wait a second! Does that mean that the murderer is different from Mr. Skids? That is a possibility. The methods of murder are very different. However, it's too early for us to speculate. It could be the murderer's intent to confuse us. Besides, psychic powers are generally unstable. The culprit may not be able to utilize their powers so easily. The possibilities are endless. That's true. Hmm? What's this? Those are- these are Miss Akia's belongings. The police confiscated them for examination a couple of days ago. They have concluded that 
these things are unrelated to the case, so they asked me to return them back to her relatives. I see. Skid, Emma, Akia, Loyal. Do they always list their names in that order? What do you mean? Look at the name card. It has the names of all the founders of the Gen Institute. Most of the time, they would list the names in the order of importance. Is Dr. Loyal the least important person in the list? I doubt it. Dr. Loyal was the one who funded the construction for the school. M uh, most would emphasize their importance in exchange for the funding in this case. That's odd. I wonder if there's any purpose, or perhaps it was just a silly mistake. Card has been added to note. Just as I thought, there are still many things that I don't understand. But that is all the time that I have for this episode, guys. So if you liked it, please hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye!